So first of all, thanks everybody for being here today. Uh, pretty dynamic lineup of speakers and panelists. Thank you. Um, and really we're all here to talk about how can we work together to make greater Cincinnati, uh, the Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana region a better place to live, work, and visit. Um, civilizations have risen and fallen around particular innovations. Um, with the Greeks, it was brass. With the Romans, it was roads and aqueducts. Uh, in the United States, uh, we've really played a leading role through the Industrial Revolution and beyond. But now we're seeing other nations begin to outpace us as it relates to digital transformation efforts. And I believe that the Smart Cities effort uh, represents an opportunity for us to take a leading role uh, from the local level. And I think that that's exactly what we're doing here today. Um, it was here in Cincinnati that we started Venture Smarter. Uh, we now have operations in D.C. and New York, as far away as Amsterdam and the Netherlands. It was also here in Cincinnati that we launched the first regional smart cities initiative in the United States, and that is uh, what ultimately led to us launching Smart Cincy uh, as a public-private partnership. Uh, since we started that, our friends in Columbus who are here today have launched the Smart Regions Task Force. Our friends in Colorado have launched statewide efforts with the Colorado Smart Cities Alliance. Um, and our friends in Arizona have launched a center at Arizona State University to focus on smart cities and regions. Uh, smart Cincy represents a unique movement that is gaining, tra uh, gaining traction within the otherwise technology-driven conversations that are smart cities. I contend that smart communities is a preferred term to smart cities because smart cities put people first. Smart Cincy puts people first, positioning the community at the forefront of all of our planning decisions. What problems can we solve? How can we make Cincinnati and the OKI region a better place to live, work, and visit? How can we use technology as a tool to improve outcomes for people? And how can we create a model for smart regional growth that is repeatable? How will all of these technologies work together? And how in the world are we going to pay for it? One year ago, we gathered in this room and we asked, what does Smart Cincy mean to you? We collected feedback online and offline. We've hosted monthly meetings and forums. And we've continued to bring together each stakeholder group to create a cohesive, proactive conversation to move greater Cincinnati further along into the 21st century. And in doing so, it's our hope that we are ensuring that everybody, regardless of socioeconomic or physical barriers, has equal access to all of the new opportunities that we're working together to create. In the last 12 months, new projects have been launched. New solutions to existing and emerging problems have been identified and explored. New partnerships forged. New businesses created, bringing in new jobs and millions of dollars in investments. In Cincinnati, we are looking to solve issues from digital divide and workforce development to equitable mobility and public health. A common theme for us revolves around closing the gap. But Cincinnati will not become a smart city, and OKI will not become a smart region without collaboration. That's why we are excited to work with and learn from our peer cities and regions, from Columbus to Kansas City, from Louisville to San Jose, from Indianapolis to Buffalo. Last year, we gathered to catalyze conversations. Today, we are meeting to catalyze action, to discuss projects and potentials, challenges and solutions, and of course, opportunities to collaborate, such as in the 2018 Smart Infrastructure Challenge, of which you'll hear more about later today. Today, you will also hear from leaders in government at the local, regional, state, and federal level, from business and community leaders, from researchers and academic partners. We will talk about the pillars and components of smart cities, and we will have a targeted conversation around smart mobility and infrastructure. But why is our focus there? It's because we want to solve our most pressing problems by leveraging advanced technologies and smart strategies. We want to optimize or altogether replace outdated and inefficient systems and infrastructure that are depleting already strained municipal and state budgets. We want to bolster social mobility and spark innovative, inclusive economic development. We want to mitigate air quality problems, better connect residents to jobs, to healthcare, and to education, and make our streets and sidewalks safer for motorists, pedestrians, and bikers alike. We want to close the socioeconomic divide address digital access and digital literacy, and prompt smart action around education and workforce development as our city and region steps forward into the 21st century. We don't push the uncomfortable conversations aside. We have been actively working with the Hamilton County Heroin Coalition to move the conversation forward to address the heroin and opiate epidemic, with Tri-State Logistics Council and other regional groups to align forces around transit and transportation solutions, and with government partners to build internal capacities and external partnerships so that we can actually pursue smart city grants and resources that we've missed historically. But I, don't, but I won't dive deeper. We have a stellar lineup of speakers and panelists today, 
For those in the audience and those watching on the live stream, we are excited that you are a part of the conversation, and we thank you for the support. And we also want to thank all of our sponsors and partners that make this event possible. Everyone here and tuned in remotely deserves a round of applause, so thank you for being here.